yo what's up youtube this is your boy in two beats coming at you another video about like basically fl studio basics for beginners or anyone even like advanced people can watch the videos that i make um anyway let me not waste any more of your time and show you guys how to use the channel rack so today's video is about how to use this thing over here the channel rack i made a video about how to use the mixer please check it out in my playlist about fl studio for beginners you get what i'm saying if y'all wanna watch me make beats i have another playlist for that which i'll include in the end screen and also in the description below and also i have looped this part over here you get what i'm saying watch until the end of the video to see what we come up with so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the channel rack while i'm making a beat i feel like it makes more sense that way so the channel rack basically is it's like a sequence pack where you pack I would say your elements, your drums, your kicks, your hi-hats, your bass, your melodies, yeah, maybe, but like, we'll get deeper into that. So the way you access your channel rack is to this button over here. So a setting that I've done, because I use the channel rack basically with everything. I come over here by this little button, and then I pressed detached. So now that it's off, when I go and select, like I go to the mixer, the channel rack will close. I don't want it to close. I want also, I want it to be everywhere. When I open the piano roll, my channel rack is supposed to be here. So what I do is I go and do the same thing again. Press this button over here, then you press detached. So that's what, if you want the setup like mine, like this. So as you can see, it's still there. If you want something like this, that's how you do it. Then another thing I can show you guys, this tab over here, audio is basically all the audios on your playlist. And then when you unsorted is usually your drums you know um the sampler sampler is just i don't know what the hell this is i usually just remove it you know after i add something then yeah so anyway um here is your sequence uh, like where you i'm gonna show you practically how to use it then over here over here is basically where it's your target mixer track as you can see in the information bar there the information bar is here by the way um so what happens is as I add things, I can send them to, like, let me show you, let me go to my mixer. The melody that I have over here, the sample, let's just listen to it. I can send it to number two, to the second one. I can send it. You get what I'm saying? That's what this thing is here for. So I'm going to take it to number one. You get what I'm saying? And then, what you have over here is a channel volume. So... If you listen, yeah, there's your volume, you get what I'm saying, for whatever you're working with over here. And then this is a channel panning. I've never really tried it, but let's listen. I, I don't really use it. If I pan, I pan from here. You understand what I'm saying? But like, let's see what this does. Wow, it actually does pan, eh? Yes, what's up? See, I learned something new as well. So yeah, that's what the channel rack does. So now, I, I'm sure you're asking, how do you make a beat with the channel rack on the playlist? So you come here by pattern over one. Press. Yeah, there's your pattern showing over here. You get what I'm saying? Then you select on your playlist. This is a good four bar I should do. So I want to add a clap, a bass. So, so, so just follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. Oh, by the way, um, I to set it up like this, like I did over here, you come here, auto hide. So you see, it's not there. But if you want it like mine, you can just do that. You get what I'm saying? And then it'll close. But anyway, so... Let me just listen to them. Let's listen to the melody finally, guys. And then let's make a beat together. Um, well, I also explain how to use the channel rack to make a beat. So I'm going to add a clap, I'm going to come here by the packs, select and drag to the channel rack, 
below this thing over here because if i put it here it's going to replace it but if i put it below <coughs> so there you go so since you're making a trap beat you're going to put it on the first i don't know how to count i just know how to do it but like follow along You get what I'm saying? I'm gonna take it to mixer 2. I'm gonna decrease the volume a bit. When you right click, I wanna go to the piano roll. When you right click for the clap, so the way you access the piano roll, you right click, then you go to piano roll. Damn, let me just do this. So there you go, I added a basic clap. Um, control S, keep saving your projects guys, as you guys go. I need hi-hats now, so I'm gonna go to symbols. Ooh, sounds like fire. This sounds like fire, my G. How to do the hi-hats, but wait, first things first. Mixer number three, control plus S, make sure you save. I think I'm gonna decrease the volume a bit, because I know myself, and then right click. Nice thing we have here with FL Studio 20 or basically F any Fruity Loops, fill each 8 steps, listen to this. I can fill in 4 steps. can fill in 2 steps. I think I must stick with 2 steps but I have a method so just follow along. So I filled in 4 steps. Right click. Sorry about that, guys. I had to answer a phone call. I hope you guys heard my ringtone. We go legend. That's my best friend. Anyway, <laughs> back to the beats. I filled in four steps, right? Did I? Yeah, I did. Then I increased the velocity. Now check what I'm gonna do. It just makes life easier. Control A. Make sure it's online. Shift, drag, then maybe shift down. Oh geez, I pressed the wrong button. Let's listen. Then, I don't wanna waste a lot of time on these hi-hats, but like, listen. But I don't like the way these hi-hats sound. Maybe let me change them. Ah, come on. This happens, by the way. Sound selection is very important. So, um, but luckily for me, I know where to get everything. So, this should do for now. I don't want to waste any time. either this or one let's hear nah oh i told you guys i don't want to waste more time and i am wasting more time on this thing but like let me stick to number one you know for now and then i'll do the sound selection things later or i'll make a part two about what i did about this beat so what else do we need um we need we need we need we need we need a kick Need a kick. Need a kick. Woo! It's hard enough. 
take it, drag it to the channel rack. Take it to number four. Mixer number four. Mixer channel number four. Decrease the volume a bit. I prefer to actually do the kick. Yeah. On the piano roll. Control plus S. And then this is when I don't want the channel rack now. Also with the option that I made of detached, right? So now I want it to actually be detached. So I'm gonna so yeah. There you go, nice and easy. Then I'm gonna add a bass. Mm. Mm. Actually, I'm almost done with the beat. After I add the bass, I feel like. Then I'll just recap and explain. So what you do is when you add a bass on the channel rack, you right click your bass, right? Then you press cut itself so that your notes don't overlap. You get what I'm saying? But then if you don't press cut itself made on your bass, I'm telling you it's not gonna sound nice. So I'm gonna take it to number five, decrease the volume a bit. I'm gonna make the most basic bass line that is out there just so I can complete this video very quick for you guys. Actually, no, I think, let me kill it. Stick to this for now, you get what I'm saying? This is how you make a beat using the channel rack along with the mixer along with the piano roll along with your playlist 
I will make another video. I don't know if it will be necessary though. You get what I'm saying? If you guys really watch all my videos, um, you will see that the playlist is involved in almost everything that you do. You get what I'm saying? And by the way, the beat was loose. So and I hear how it sounds like with everything, but I feel like here. Yeah. Let's listen. Watch until the end, boy. What did I tell you? Hey. Woo. Nah, I can't wait to actually release this beat. But thank you for watching, guys. If you guys actually watched until the end, nah, y'all are, are going to make fire beats. I hope that y'all make fire beats. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see me make. You get what I'm saying? Capiche?